this video, I'm going to be taking a look at um, a straight derivative here of the function square root of sine square root of x. This would typically be found in a Calc 1 class. Pretty straightforward a derivative here that's going to involve a little bit of chain rule. All right, so before I get started, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this original function as a square root of x raised to the one half power. All right, so that's just rewriting that original function. I still, you know, no calculus involved there, just rewriting it so that I can clearly see I have an inside portion to this function, and then I have an outside portion, something being raised to the one half power. That's gonna to indicate to me then that I've got chain rule going on. So I'm gonna start my derivative by doing f prime of x, I'm going to take the derivative of that outside function, which is the power function, so I'll have a 1 half. I'm going to leave the inside alone, so sine square root of x. All right, and then we got to be sure and take um, 1 away from that exponent, so I'll have a negative 1 half. Now I'm going to go ahead and use ddx notation here. So ddx of that inside function, which is sine x to the, or square root of x. All right, now what this is is taking that derivative of the outside function here and then leaving the inside function alone, multiplying it times the derivative of the inside. All right, just kind of showing and keeping track of all those steps. All right, so then we're going to have a 1 half times the sine square root of x raised to the negative 1 half. All right, now again, I have an outside function, which is sine. I have an inside function, which is square root of x. So I'm going to take the derivative of that outside function, which will be cosine. I'm going to leave the inside function alone, square root of x. And then again, showing that ddx notation, ddx of that inside function, which is the square root of x. In the last step there, then, we would just have a straight um, derivative right here, so no more chain at this point. So I'm going to have a 1 half times sine square root of x raised to the negative 1 half, and then times cosine square root of x. All right, taking the derivative here on the end, I'll have a 1 half x raised to the negative 1 half. All right, now clearly we want to clean this up a little bit. Um, this is a negative exponent, so it's going to go to the denominator. This is a negative exponent here, so that's going to go to the denominator. And I'm already going to have 2 times 2, which is going to be a 4 in the denominator. So in all honesty, then, the only thing that is going to remain in the numerator is going to be that cosine square root of x. All right, so writing that now, we'll have cosine, or, sorry, cosine of square root of x, and then all over the 4 coming from that 2 times 2, and then the square root of the sine square root of x times another square root of x for a final answer there. So pretty much just a straightforward derivative in a Calc 1 class that involves two chain rules here. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please be sure and share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.